If you want to learn how to create a custom hotbar and get rid of this old default one, make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out how to do it. Okay, so I won't really show the scripting and all of that because that's kind of boring, but I will explain to you how it works. And first of all, you need to create a health GUI, so I will do that from scratch. And then you don't want to insert a frame, but rather a canvas group, because I will explain to you in a minute why. And then inside you can add a frame. Uh, make sure this is 1,0,1,0, so it like fills it up correctly. And then rename this into a bar, this into fill. You can also add like a text like I did here, but it's not really that necessary. Now why we used a canvas group, so click on the plus and if you have something like a UI corner and actually let's just change the background color so it makes more sense why I'm doing this. Okay, so we have our health bar here and now you can see that even if I put this for example 20 so it's really rounded and I can like drag this, it doesn't like go above it, it actually cuts in and usually if you'd use only a frame and let's copy and paste this side off you can see that now this one is going kind of above it and it looks really bad but even if you copy and paste this inside it will still look bad i mean if it's like somewhere around here it's kind of okay but the closer to this end you get you will realize why we are using a canvas group as you can see it kind of doesn't round up as it should so that's the reason why we use a canvas group because if you use a canvas group this is possible to look like this okay so basically get the point so i will now delete this ui you can make your own and now to explain to you how the script works so yeah okay this does look kind of big but let me just explain so quickly before we actually script anything we need to disable the old one and this is the line that does it so game get service start the UI and then colon set core GUI enable and then right here you need to put enum dot core GUI type dot help comma and then false so this disables it you can also do it for backpacks and everything actually so if I do this and then put all this will disable the backpack the I think maybe even chat I'm not really sure about the chat and basically everything that's like on top of your screen okay so I know this seems kind of complicated but I will explain to you now how it works first we get twin servers then players then we get player obviously and I won't really go into detail I assume you know how to actually create variables this is some pretty common stuff and if you don't know how to do that you can find a beginner's guide on my channel then we get the character and this is what I like to do sometimes so if there's not a character already we are waiting for it and then you get the humanoid then you get the bar so that's the canvas group we renamed the bar then of course the fill that's inside of it and the gradient yeah I kind of forgot to say that you need to add a gradient inside of the fill frame of course that is if you want to have like color changing effects and stuff like that if you want it to be always the same color and only in one color then you don't need the gradient then we of course create a twin info so this is basically information uh, that's used for twinning. This is how long the animation of the fill bar will last when it changes. This is just an easing style, which is linear. You can maybe put it even exponential. And I use in out in easing direction. Now this is a color table. Again, if you don't use UI gradient, you don't need to write all of this and also this. But basically, this is a color table. So I have uh, three of the smaller tables inside which each have a color sequence so first of all this is for green so this is this starting color because at the bottom you can see that it's kind of darker and at the top it's lighter this is another color sequence uh, which is like yellowish and of course you can add more colors so for example if you want something in between this kind of brown orange and this yellow you can just do color sequence key point dot new and then open brackets and inside of this you will add a I don't know 0 0.5 if you want it to be like in the middle because 0 is one end and 1 is the other end so 0 0.5 or anything in between will be in between of those two and then you just do the common color tree dot from RGB and then literally just I don't know change the color something like this probably or I don't know and also don't forget to add a comma after each one of these except if it's the last one okay so I will delete that for now I only want the two colors and the last one is basically the same thing only it has red colors so if you want to copy this pause the video right now you can just copy this whole table and then we have the last thing a fill change function which is actually fired from down here but I will explain that after this so first we get the health which we use mad.climb for we get humanoid.health and then max health and then minimum number is zero and maximum number number is one and this is because we are using the scale size for scaling the fill bar then we create a new uidm 
by using udim2.new and then we put help 0,1,0 so basically uh, this thing so let's say we would have a health bar i will just clone this so let's say you have it something like this so if it's like vertical then this health thing would be instead of this one and this one would be like here so it's a pretty basic scaling thing you can use that as well if you want to have a vertical health bar then we obviously create a twin with twin service colon create so first thing is instance we put the fill which is the frame we use for the health and the twin info which we made before and then you do these brackets and put size equal to this new udim and then down here this is for the color change so if the health is smaller than uh, 0.3 and this is actually 0.30 doesn't really matter how you type it and then the gradient dot color will be equal to the color table and 3 so it will be the red one and then if it's smaller than 65 then it will be the color 2 and if it's above all that it will be the color 1 which is green then we just play the twin so the fill frame actually changes its size down here i just fired this function so we can actually start off with the animated health and then humanoid.health changed colon connect and then just fire the function again so i mean that's pretty much it so you can see that we have our custom health the color changes and it's red when it's below 30 percent and now when we heal, as you can see, the color changes back when the health is higher than before. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, can check out my Patreon if you need some models or if you just want to support me. Click the video on the screen if you want to watch more and thanks for watching.